Well, hello everybody. Justine here from Wit Sunday's Pilates, and I'm bringing you your next instalment of our Booty Burning Heavenly Bodies series. So, just like all of the others in the Heavenly Bodies, we're doing 20 minutes, 60 seconds per exercise, 20 exercises, and we're just going to go straight on through. Uh, so hopefully you've already warmed up. I've got quite a few videos available for you to be able to make sure that you're all nice and warmed up. Doing some hip mobility stuff is really great, a bit of spinal mobility um, and also just a bit of glute activation. So if you've got a band or anything, just get those glutes activated so that you can get the most out of this workout. But if you're ready, we're going to be starting off in a clam position. So you want to have yourself lying down on the outside of your mat so you can just set yourselves up with your feet on one edge of the mat your bum on the edge of the mat and then your arm also comes up that edge and then that way you know that you're in really nice alignment because uh, i'm not there to be able to check on it so just really make sure you've got that nice alignment hips stacked one on top of another can't stress how important that that is okay so if you're ready get yourselves in position I'll get the timer going. Here we go. Awesome. Just starting off with our classic clam. So heels together. Inhale, T-zone. Exhale, squeeze that top knee out. Inhale, T-zone. Exhale to squeeze and lift. Inhale, T-zone. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Beautiful. So as we're here, we'll do our quick body scan. Got our chin tucked, shoulders down and back. Nice neutral spine, so you don't want to feel like you're tucking your bum under. The heels are well and truly welded together. Every time those knees are coming back together, feel yourself tightening that T-zone. You can even check with your fingers. Can you feel it tightening? As you exhale and open, slide rib to hip. So take your time. This is just about getting those glutes activated. Next move we're going to be doing is clam kick out. So we're going to change into a four breath movement. Here we go. So coming down and now we're going to inhale to lift the knee up. Exhale, extend the leg down long in line with the body. Inhale, heels together. Exhale, knees together. Inhale to open. Exhale, extend. Inhale, heels. Exhale, knees. No need to rush with this one. Make sure you get your breathing right. Exhale, rib to hip. Inhale, T-zone. Exhale, rib to hip. Inhale, T-zone. Exhale, rib to hip. Really important. Use that core. Every single breath. And you will have a solid core in no time if you can get the hang of using your breathing. Inhale, open. Exhale, extend. Inhale, heels. Exhale, knees. Next exercise is going to be circles. So we'll be staying out in full extension. Here we go. So open up. Extend that long. Make sure the hips are still stacked one on top of another. And you're just going to start to draw little circles. Keep pointing out, find length all the way through the leg and you're just generating these little tiny circles all the way from the glute. You want nice control. Really reach that foot out away from you. In this position we'll do a quick body scan, chin tucked, shoulders down and back, find that squeeze between the shoulder blades. So we've got a neutral spine. And you want to feel like you've got a bit of a gap between the waist and the floor. So you can use this top hand on your hip to push down towards your feet. And just notice how that generates a bit of a lift. And that stops us collapsing our waist into the side. Almost there, coming into zigzag neck. So straighten the knee out. We're going to inhale to come forward. Tap down. Exhale, sweep back and lift. Inhale, T-zone. Exhale to tap. Inhale as we sweep. 
exhale as we lift inhale forward toe down exhale and lift beautiful so even though your leg is swinging backwards and forwards we need to really focus on everything from your hip to your head stay super still just lifting sweep forwards toe down getting into different parts of the glute so if you put your hand on your bum you're going to feel different parts are having to activate here building an all-round booty awesome so bring the legs all the way up to 90 degrees so they'll cut straight across your mat and then your calves are coming down the other edge of the mat hips are stacked coming to climb kick out so driving that leg up and down so a couple of pointers to really look for here keep that knee tracking in a perfectly vertical line from the other one and then you want the top of your calf here the side of your calf to be completely flat don't let the foot raise up higher than the knee that's what I see all the time we don't want that we want to have to push from the underneath part of our glute to really just drive that whole leg as one unit up away from the other one so the foot tracks up in a vertical line as does the knee keep pushing beautiful then we're going to be swapping sides here we go all the way over to the other side set yourself up for your clam classic clam move heels in line with the bum one nice long straight line squeeze those heels together inhale t-zone exhale peeling that top knee up inhale knees down exhale to peel inhale knees together beautiful don't let this hip rock backwards just activating this glute awesome quick body scan while we're here chin tucked shoulders down and back nice neutral spine really activating this glute medius here you should be able to feel it all fired up between your underneath your fingers keep squeezing up awesome coming into our clam kick out so now we inhale to open exhale as we extend the leg down long take your time inhale heels together exhale knees together inhale to open t-zone exhale rip to hip inhale t-zone exhale rip to hip get that breathing in nice and relaxed in the shoulders let go of any lingering tension just enjoy this movement really reaching out through those toes keep your hips stacked the whole way through the knee just pointing always keep the knee just facing to the side hinging out coming back in knee down last couple of seconds so we're going to extend the leg out long and hold it out long make sure your hips are still stacked one on top of another coming into those circles so the leg is down long in line with the body here we're just using the glute to control this little circles reach out through that leg find length shoulders down and back neutral spine keep those hips stacked one on top of another relaxed foot you can change directions if you want you're only drawing you know about like the size of a dollar and then when you feel really controlled then you can start making it like a coaster size and then you can start making it bigger and bigger awesome coming into our zigzag so we inhale as we sweep forwards toe comes down exhale inhale sweep backwards toe up to the ceiling exhale straighten out the knee as we sweep then rotate 
internally from the hip, sweep back, external rotation from the hip. Do you feel that difference? Inhale straight, exhale internal, inhale straight, exhale external. Beautiful, just keep coming through. Keeping the hips stacked throughout this process. So if you've got your hand on your top hip, you'll be able to feel what's going on really well. Keep it still underneath your hand. Use that booty. You got it. Coming into our 90 degree clam kick out after this. Beautiful. Legs up in 90 degrees. Awesome. Knees on top of each other, hips on top of each other. Inhale, T-zone. And as we exhale, lift that leg as an entire unit. Nice and flat in that calf. Inhale to lower. Exhale, lift. You keep those knees tracking in a completely vertical line from one another. That's what keeps your hips straight and forces you into this booty, this underneath booty and your hip abductors here. The deep hip rotators. Nice and relaxed in the feet. Really push up. You've got this neutral spine. Exhale as we lift. Inhale as we lower. Doing really well. Awesome. We're going to roll all the way onto our front. Hands are going to be underneath our forehead. Lift the abs up. Really important to lift your abs here. Shoulders down and back. Thighs lifting off the floor. We're coming into freestyle legs. So really reach out through the legs, keeping them as straight as you can. And in this position, the tension is going to keep creeping back up into your shoulders. But you're going to keep relaxing the shoulders. Keep your abs pulled up. And you're lifting your thighs. Lift from the glutes. Squeeze the glutes. Keep the legs really nice and straight. Shoulders down and back. Relaxing that upper body. Just keep reaching. You've got this. Squeeze the booty. Lift from those thighs. Almost there. Beautiful. Keep the legs lifted away from the floor. But now turn them so that they're rotated externally. Heels together. We're coming to brush stroke legs. So push up through those heels. And then start beating the heels together. This is our breaststroke leg. Head is just relaxed down on the forehead. Shoulders down and back. Lift from the thighs. Squeeze the glutes. Drive out through those heels. I know this one's really tough, but you've got it. Keep beating. No tension in the upper body. Lift the abs. Stay disciplined. Can you lift your thighs up any higher off the ground? Less than 10 seconds to go. Keep pushing. Push, push, push. All the way up into all fours position. Nice work. Into horse kick. So all fours. Your left knee is slightly more central. Let's pick up that right leg. And we're going to exhale to extend out behind us. Inhale to bring the knee in. Focus on keeping your back really flat. Exhale to extend. Inhale as we come in. Tighten the T-zone. Exhale, rib to hip. Inhale, T-zone. Rib to hip. Shift the weight back into your supporting leg. You want to feel like you're lifting up out of your hands. Resist the temptation to hang the head down. Keep it up. Nice work. Extending back. And in. Beautiful. Okay, coming into our sweep. So ex externally rotated from the hips. Lift the chest and we flex the foot. Little exhale as we sweep out. Inhale to return that leg back in. 
exhale to sweep, inhale back. Keeping the chest lifted, head lifted, just relying on that supporting glute to take all of the weight in this position. Exhale to sweep, inhale back in line. Keep pushing through. Coming down. Push, push, push. Keeping your back flat throughout this. <clears throat> Drive the leg out, inhale back in. Exhale to come out, inhale back. Awesome, coming down onto our forearms, just bend the leg into 90 degrees. We're going to start doing some really big circles, really opening up the hip. Nice big circles coming all the way through. Keep the abs lifted, eyes looking down at your fist. Just coming through all the way around. And we're going to change direction. So start bringing that knee up towards the chest, open up and around, drive the knee up, open and around, keep coming, open up, driving through, doing so, so well, keep pushing, all the way around, last few seconds now. So close. Now let's come up. Final move on this right side. We've got fire hydrant. So head is lifted, chest lifted. Pull your armpits down towards the end of the mat. And we're just driving that knee up. Keeping it in line with the other knee. Trying to keep your back flat at the same time. Really just trust in your body and what you are capable of. So much more than you think. Keeping your foot and your knee in line. Drive it up. Last few seconds here. Keep pushing. Push, push, push. Driving up and down. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to switch around to the other side. And do our horse kick. On the other side. Pushing back. Inhale to come in. Last few exercises now. We've got this. Keep coming. Keep the chest lifted, head lifted, back as flat as you can. So you kind of want to feel like you're pulling your left hip down towards the ground. At the same time, pushing your right hip up towards the ceiling. Keep them level. If you can feel that pressure in your wrists, really shift the weight back. Going to be coming into our horse kick with a sweep. So stay lifted, turn that leg out all the way from the hip, flexing the foot. Exhale out, inhale in. Exhale to sweep. Inhale, bring that leg back in line. Keep the weight in your supporting leg, really important. Should be nice and light through the hands. They're just there for a little bit of support. Shift the weight back. You want to feel that pressure through the top of your foot into the mat. Push it down. Help to support yourself. Keeping the head up high. Abs pulled in. Doing really well. Almost into our last couple of exercises here. Beautiful. We are coming down onto our forearms. Bend that leg. And we're going to do some nice big circles all the way around. Really 
pretty nice big sacos. Push through. Keep your eyes looking down at your fist. The leg is bent, abs are pulled in. Keep that stabilizing hip absolutely still. Let's change direction. Coming up and around. Beautiful work, keep driving. I know that the glutes are on fire, but that's what we came for. And that's what we've delivered. Remember, what are you capable of? Keep driving. Adopt that growth mindset. Beautiful. So coming back onto all fours. And we're into our last move of our fire hydrant. Drive the leg up and back down. Keeping the back flat. Pushing up. Push all the way from that stabilizing glute. Really drive. Lift, lift, lift. Abs pulled in. Chest is lifted. Pick a point for your eyes to look at and do not move. Into our last 30 seconds of work here. Keep the movements nice and smooth and controlled. Lifting up. Chest lifted, abs lifted, shoulder blades down and back. Keep coming with me. Doing so, so well. Push through. Keep driving into our last 10 seconds. We've got this. Drive it up. Keep pushing. Woo! Don't you just love that sound? Well done, absolutely smashed through that booty workout with me. I know it was a tough one, but we've got nice strong booty to thank us for it. So if you did like that format, then there's plenty more in the Heavenly Body series for you to choose from. Uh, lots of mobility work, abs, upper body, bit of everything. Um, got plenty of cool down stretches that are gonna be really important so that you can get the most out of that workout in the booty. So please check out some of my uh, glute therapy or body butter. Anything that's to do with mobilizing your hip, stretching out your glutes, is gonna feel really, really good, trust me. Um, yeah, so if you did like that video, please hit the like button. And if you would like to see more of my content, then please subscribe to my channel. All right, thanks so much, guys. Go and stretch out those booties. Take it easy, see ya.